Okay, everybody, welcome back to your dictionary mini lesson. It is number two today. Okay, so in uh, the first mini lesson video, I showed you that dictionaries have tabs in them. Not all of them do. Now, this is a view of your dictionary from the edge. And you can see there are three pink bars. Well, the first one tells you where the letters A through G are. The second one is H through Q. And the last one is R through Z. So that's kind of a convenient way to help you get to the letter that you need pretty quickly. The tabs are faster, but this is still pretty good. Now, I've got this dictionary open to the page where H begins. And you can see that H is on the middle tab. Okay, so you can see that pink bar on the right that tells us that we're in the middle section of the dictionary. And when you see the letter big like that, that means you are on the first page for that letter. So all dictionaries will show you the big letter H and they'll give you a history of the letter H, okay? Now, if you look at that arrow in the top left, you can kind of see that the page before it had a pink bar at the top. That's the end of the G section. So A through G went up to there. OK, so this is a convenient way of knowing when you're leaving one section and going to the next section of a dictionary. And of course, remember those words at the top? Do you remember what they're called? They're the guide words, right? So we find our section of the dictionary, then we find our letter, and then we find our guide words. Okay, that's where we find the specific word that we're looking for. Okay, and there are the guide words always there to help us. Now, let's look at an actual definition. And I've chosen an easy word. And if you want to follow along without looking at the screen, you can certainly open up your dictionary and go to page 91. Okay, so I'm going to look at the word jacket. Okay, there it is. It's not a hard word. We've even learned it in foundations recently. So now look carefully at how much information we're going to get. First, we're going to get the word, okay, jacket. And it's in bold letters. Okay, so it shows us how it's spelled. Next to that, we get what's called the part of speech. Now, part of speech we haven't really talked about yet, but part of speech means the word might be a noun, a person, place, or a thing. It might be a verb, like an action. And if you look up a little bit, you'll see that um, the word at the top of the page is a verb. Okay, so we get the part of speech. Then, this is pretty interesting. See that number one? That tells us that this word has more than one meaning. So meaning number one, or definition number one, is a short coat. A jacket is a short coat. Great. Okay, now look at this. We have a second definition. And number two is an outer covering, as for a book or a record. So we have record jackets for people who collect music, and book jackets. It's true, it's almost like a book cover, okay? And we're going to get more information. Look at that. Jacket, it's broken up into the syllables, just like we've practiced in foundations in unit five with multisyllabic words. Okay, jack it. J A and the digraph goes into the first syllable to keep it closed. Okay, and then we separate it and then we have it. Next to that, it tells us how the word is pronounced. Jack, and you can see there's a brev over the A, okay? And Jack is in bold letters, which means that's the strong syllable. It's not jacket, it's jacket, okay? And we get even more information. It'll tell us that the plural of jacket is jackets. In other words, one jacket, 
two jackets. Now, you might think that's kind of silly. Why not just add an S? Well, guess what? There are lots of words that don't use the S for a plural. So look at all of this information that we get just by looking up one word. Okay, so dictionaries tell us the meaning of a word or the meanings of a word. And that's important because some words will actually have like 40 or 45 different uses. Okay, different meanings. We get the part of speech, which tells us if it's a noun or a verb. A verb is like an action. Okay, and we're going to learn about other parts of speech soon. It tells us how to pronounce it, how to say it. Dictionaries tell us how to separate syllables, and they tell us the plurals. And there's even more information that we'll get, especially if we had a big, bigger dictionary. Okay, this is a student's dictionary, so they're not giving us too much information. All right, go-getters, that's the end of dictionary mini lesson number two. Practice looking for words, looking up words that you don't know, because there's going to be a fun activity that will, that's going to come up once we get through a couple of these lessons. I promise you're really going to like it. That's it for now. The end.